L'examen périodique universel, euh, c'est un moment extrêmement important pour changer la vie des gens. We see that as an opportunity actually to bring more attention uh, to the issues that are concerning uh, our beneficiaries. That is something that we regularly use uh, as a way to improve the discussions about the uh, protection and promotion of human rights in, in Serbia, especially about economic and social rights, of course. L'Angola essaie, euh, en tant que possible, de proposer des questions à l'avance aux États examinés. C'est un exercice qui nous permet d'aborder de, de, certaines questions qu'on n'aurait pas eu le temps de le faire pendant la, la session de l'EPU parce que le temps est très, est très limité. À Apprenti d'Auteuil, on utilise l'EPU. Euh, on l'a utilisé deux fois. Une première fois en 2018, on avait envoyé un rapport conjoint avec une autre organisation. Et puis on l'a utilisé cette année. Donc on a également envoyé un rapport qui était basé sur une consultation avec 100 000 jeunes et familles. En tant qu'institution nationale des droits de l'homme, euh, nous devons euh, essayer de faire monter en compétence des associations qui sont peut-être un peu éloignées des mécanismes onusiens pour qu'elles puissent participer à cet exercice. Sometimes when our voice is not heard enough in our own country, then we use human rights mechanisms to somehow make our uh, states to hear us. Le pays pourrait être amélioré si les médias et les parlements nationaux s'y engageaient pleinement. More space for discussions actually about the, the ways how to improve the recommendations on economic and social rights and actually how to follow up on these recommendations. I would say that this would be some kind of a proposal actually for improvement. Well, the critical challenge of the UPR is to have smart recommendations that are sharp, focused, time-bound, actionable. But the other challenge of the UPR is, of course, implementation and follow-up. We hope that there will be closer engagement between recommending states and state under review, which could be utilized in order to facilitate implementation of those recommendations that the recommending states make. What would be really uh, beneficial is that there is uh, more awareness about this mechanism, about various stakeholders in the country. Not all of them are aware of the importance of this mechanism. There is an opportunity for the UN system as a whole to absorb the practical guidance, to look at the repository of good practices, which hopefully is only the tip of the iceberg, and come up with even more example of concrete UPR recommendations that have been realized, implemented, in order to advance the cooperation framework, to advance the efforts at the Agenda 2030, but also to strengthen the national human rights protection systems.